Hey, I'm back. I'm back. I'm sorry. My phone overheated. So we are uh, hanging with rustic outdoors. Look at that. Ain't that awesome? Let's see here. I want to. Bye, 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 bye. There we go. Hey, what, folks? Hey, Marlo. It is hot outside. My goodness, it is hot outside, man. I'm telling you, it is hot outside. How you doing, Marlo? There's Team David. Just just woke up. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you there. Thank you, Team David. You're such a sweetheart. Oh, Marlo. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hey, Jesse. What's going on, Jesse? I was out there making me some river sinkers. <laughs> hey, what happened? You get a sinker? Yeah, I got a sinker stinker, all right. My phone overheated shut down. But uh, I had to come in here anyway because uh, the fire went out. So it wasn't enough to dip left back in there anyway. So what I'm going to do is... I'm going to show you what I am going to do with these sinkers here. Okay, let me get this stretched out right here. Not much, my shit changed, so I won't make it tomorrow. Oh, that's, that's too bad, bud. I wish you could have came up there. These are not going to be perfect by no means. But they're going to be perfect for me. They're going to serve their purpose. Okay, let me see here. Uh, okay, I'll put that there. Put this drill right here. Put my little hole in there. Like, oh, <laughs> my drill bit came off. Put it down. Reverse that back out. There we go. See, I got me a, a hole drilled in it. Yeah, that and just uh, dropped too much money prepping for hunting this year. Oh my goodness. Hello, Emily. Welcome back in. Emily. Yeah, Jesse. Yeah, I'm not going to bother with hunting this year, I don't think. Oh, that back in that bucket. That's my. Let me get this down. I'll show you what I'm going to do. Michael. I don't have many, but I can make a few, I guess. Okay, let's see here. All right. Let's see here. What do I got? What do I got? Okay. Uh oh. All right, you see that? I might have got that drilled down a little bit too far. I'll find out. Oh, no. It go up in there. I just need some friendly persuasion. There we go. See there? Damn. Good five, six ounce sinker right there. That's about six ounce. They're not the perfect in the world because I used a spoon. Hey, TSO. Look at Psychedelic Dave. I don't know about that, man. I'm sure to look at that. Yeah, that's what I'm going to use for sinkers. I had some lead. I just melted down. I used a spoon. Some of them turned out quite nice. I mean, they turned out almost perfect for what I need. Then I made some that looked like this. A little egg shape. That's about four to five, something like that. I think it's that's probably going to be about a probably about a four. Hey, Daryl, thank you, for, thank you for taking me out fishing the other night, man. Uh, well, I don't have a mold, and I need some sinkers, and I really appreciate it, brother, man. It it, it meant a lot to me. 
and I had a blast too. Learned a new way to fish without using that weight and that current. I really appreciate it, bud. I, I mean, I really appreciate it. See here, I got a, I got a few I can make up right here if I can find them. What I dance with them. Oh, that's what's tough is trying to get it over on the clip. It's where a good pair of small needles those pliers comes in handy, but y'all get the idea. For the Mississippi River, these will work good down in rocks. Man, that thing will lay down like that there, and then it should float right up because it's got a bevel in it. I've had luck with some of the other ones. Oh, they gave me some sinkers. I didn't know you need any. Oh, yeah. That Mississippi River here eats sinkers up like crazy. This is way a whole ton of rocks and debris down that bottom. But yeah, that's cool, man. I wasn't there for nothing. I was there just to fish with with, with a good old boy. I've only seen a spoon use one other time. <laughs> hey, Big Mike. Oh, Randy, if you're driving, listen. I appreciate it, bud. But I wouldn't be texting, man. That's dangerous. We want to keep you safe. Tennessee Fish Keeper, thank you. Thank you for sharing out. Appreciate it. But yeah, y'all get the idea what we're doing. I mean, that right there, by the time I clean it up, it'll be a perfect egg shape. I get all the little little blossers off of it, you know. Because I, I don't want that thing to come up there and grab my line or anything like that, which is the way I'm going to put them on there. I, I doubt they will. Backlash, yes, I have burnt myself. I got three burns on my feet where it's, where it's splattered. <laughs> Not bad though, just a little bitty BB size. So I advise if you're gonna melt lead, man, and do sinkers like I did, do not wear flip flops and shorts. <laughs> Definitely no flip flops. Hey, boy, it's hot outside. I lost connection. My phone got over here. Uh, let's see here. Let's see if that works right there. Somebody wants to come up. You're more than welcome. We have to chip in and get him sinker most. Oh, no, 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 don't, don't do that. I appreciate it, but don't do that. I, I can get it. <laughs> I just uh, spent my money this time on vacation, but now that I'm home, I'm going to get the sinker mold and I'm going to buy the uh, little heat thing to melt the lead. be a lot safer. Yeah, small town. Uh, John Order Outdoors, he uh, showed me a video of small towns, and that's how I got this one here. Why would I hey, want to give me the idea? Hey, what's going on, buddy? Not much. Hey, there's Jeffrey Allen. What's going on, Jeffrey? Hey, Jeffrey. What do you think about that? fishing this morning and caught absolutely nothing. Nothing? No I bad? I hooked about a three and a half foot pipe that ate my jackhammer and broke the line off and then hooked a turtle on a walker plopper. Okay, Daryl. Look at that. That's about a, I, I don't know, what's my, I'll wait right there. Let's see what else Don't you have a fishing scale? You ought to be able to weigh it that way. Yeah, I'm gonna say about probably three ounces. <laughs> what would be point two three? Quarter of an ounce or a quarter of a Pounds, so four ounces. Four ounces. Yeah, 0.25 would be four ounces exactly. So, so just under four ounces. ounces. So I got some here that's a little bigger. So, yeah, I, I figure about some of these are like five and six. And I got some fours, like this is a little smaller one. 
Yeah. I think right here, I think this one right here is going to be probably about two and a half, three, what I want it for my smaller. Point one nine. So just over a sixteenth of an ounce, or yeah, because it won't tell anybody. Yeah. Oh, here it goes. I got it set for ounces now. Yeah, mine mine's only set for pounds and point. I don't like that. Yeah, that right there's three and a half ounces. Now, not common what we fish with. Fat <clears throat> Rose Hillbilly, I guess they were losing. Dead on three ounce. You hear me? And this right here is going to be a five because it's bigger. Probably five and a half. Do what? Fat Rose Hillbilly said, so I guess they weren't fine for losing. I guess they weren't fine for losing. Yeah, that's why I got a lot of spark plugs. <laughs> I, I, I fish the old ways too. I used to do spark plugs. I'm not ashamed. I'll throw a big old nut on there and a bolt. It don't matter. I'll tie I'm a rock. I'll go live tomorrow and do something a little. I'm going to go live tomorrow morning and do something a little different. I'm going to go crabbing. Crabbing? Yep. You need to. Oh, there's my key. Stop. Oh, you need to hook up with a. Oh, man. What is that? I don't like that. But I'll drill a whole rig anyway. Yeah, I'm on Possums Outdoors. Hello. Welcome in, everybody. Sorry, I got lost while ago. My phone overheated. Shut down on me. <clears throat> yeah. I'm going to take, uh, I'm going to do the old school crabbing. I'm going to take a piece of twine, a chicken leg, and. Um, that's, that's, that's five and a half. <clears throat> cool. So, for the Mississippi River, at least it'll do me fine. And plus, what I like about them is, uh, when you throw them out there, they do this. Then once they lay down, and when you with that bevel right here, uh, you know when you go to pull them up, it should come up like that. But like anything else, if it gets in the rock, it ain't coming up. Yeah. Besides, I ain't got nothing invested in these anyway, except for uh, uh, except for uh, the swivels. I'm, um, I'm going to take some twine and some chicken legs out with a net tomorrow. Yeah. And see if I can't get some blue crabs to... Also said I use nuts and bolts. Hey, I will too. If I'm out there and I ain't got a sinker and I still want to fish, man, I, I'll put fishing line on. <laughs> I'll put a rock on it. I don't care. <laughs> <coughs> I caught a rock last year. <laughs> I said, hey, what back last? You caught a rock last year. I've caught plenty of rocks trolling for crappie. I, I, had big actual, I mean, I had a rock rock. Oh, this was a rock rock. <laughs> I got two shots. caught a big old rock. I thought I had a big cat. Around. You get the rock in? Yeah. Uh, had that crop a bit like that, man. Get crumb over. Hey, one of these I got to go back and clean up. Yeah, that's all right. Is this actually going to export this time? Uh -huh. I've been exporting a video since 10 o'clock on um, Sunday night, and it keeps just stopping. I stopped the export, and my computer shuts down. Emily, huh. hey Tasha. Why does it do that? I don't know. It's like I don't know if it's running out of memory or what. 
Yeah, I got to get a hold of uh, Big Mike. I plan on making a trip up there, staying overnight at the hotel and fishing with him all night long. I know he likes to fish at night. I took two of the last um, clips out, thinking they may be corrupted, and this time it looks like it's going to go through fine. Cool. But if it if it does, that means those two clips must be corrupted or damaged in some way. Because I do know that one of the errors that gave me said my external hard drive needed to be fixed. It had um, faulty files. Huh. <clears throat> so I'm thinking that's what's going on, maybe. I get to meet Miss um, Red Dirt Productions this weekend on Saturday. Miss yeah. Andy. Yep. She is giving Panda an Australian Shepherd puppy. Oh, my goodness. That was born in May. Some pretty dogs. Mm hmm. It's a fur ball. Yeah. Yeah, we used to I have did one. see when they're you were smart. making. Now, if you train them when they're young, man, they are smart dogs too. Yeah, but you got to train them. I trained mine with peanuts. I did see where um, one person earlier in your chat. I think you missed it. <clears throat> made the comment that once you pour the lead into the spoon, next time put the swivel inside the lead while it's still liquid yeah i guess They'll i can harden around the swivel then you don't have to drill a hole in it yeah i guess i could do that just lay it in there and let it form yeah. around lay it in there and it should adhere to the swivel yeah i can buy the mold where i can do that put the just to the uh let's see yeah just this uh, like little, little swivel part there in there. Yeah. And put it all the way up there to the eye. I got to figure out what the, what my wife gave me a tackle kit from my, for our anniversary today. Huh. Well, happy anniversary, bro. Yep, 14 years that Coastal's put up with me. Oh, good Lord. He's got another... 14 years, 15 years, the, what she can say, uh, I've been in this marriage long and first. She went on, um, 14 years. That's a, that's an accomplishment for lots of people. She went on Amazon and bought me a little fishing kit. I'll go through it tonight because it looks like there's some pretty interesting stuff in here. Yeah. <clears throat> Let's see. Great bait, the, uh, Here's the first one I done. See, it came out like looked like a plastic worms, jigs. See that? Beveled on oh. one side, beveled yeah. on the other, and it yeah. looks looks just like an egg. Oh. Put the swivel up here, man. That that that'd be a good one right there. That's going to be a good little um, ultralight frog. Marla said, happy anniversary. Oh, it's not my, it's not my anniversary. Uh, it's mine, Marla. It's Backlash. I guess that's supposed to be a little worm. I don't celebrate my anniversary. <laughs> it's got an artificial worm in it. Sure does, don't it? That don't make a man make a think it's sticking his tongue out at him or something. Yeah. Like, nah, 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 you can't catch me. Look at the little shrimp. Yeah. That thing looks That's realistic. Good buster there. Huh? That'd be a good bluegill buster right there. Yeah. I guarantee a bluegill eat that. Just because it's brown. He'd eat hey, this little, little, bob. little fish. Yeah, Billy said happy anniversary. Thank you, everybody. I'll be live sometime later on this afternoon. 
Nice rattle trap. Little popper. So what you gonna do for your anniversary, man? Uh Friday or Thursday we are going on a trip to Raleigh. Oh, trip to Raleigh. Yep, we are going to go up there and spend Thursday and Friday night. <clears throat> we are going to be going to a um, Fireman, North Carolina State Firemen Association Convention. Hey, Filipina. Eating out and hanging out up there. And then Saturday, we're going to pick up a puppy from um, Red Dirt Productions. Hey, Filipina. That's awesome. Yep. So, uh, y'all going honeymooning tonight, trying to get back with your brother, little sister? Uh, no, nah, we'll, we won't do anything until Thursday. <laughs> oh, she'll be knowing that. Everybody be sitting around the house Thursday night. Come on, Backlash, you can do it. <laughs> yeah. Well, we're going to have a little one with us at the hotel, so that don't work. Uh, that's not the question. <laughs> yep. Well, I hope y'all enjoy it, man. We'll try. Hey, more love, Jeffrey. Time for an old lady nap so I can be all rested for a truck stop tonight. Tasha, that starts at 9.30, correct? Or is it 9.15? I've seen both. Well, if she comes on that late, I'll miss it tonight because I'm going to be leaving here about 1 o'clock in the morning. Yeah. So I'll be going I'm to bed do um, Jody's tournament tomorrow night, but then we got the hotel for two nights up there. So, off the res, Catfish Hunter, aka DT. What's up? Hey, there's my neighbor, Fishing Local 252. See, here I was thinking about plastic dipping them. Nice. Oh, it's still in there too. I got plenty. I have to make a little <coughs> with a string on it, hold them up. Let me see. Oh, there's my brother Rez. Hey, what's going on, brother? Yeah, brutal Bob, man. He's had a rough year, man. I was looking for something, but I can't remember where it's got put at now. Give me a minute. Ah. Come on. Well, that way. Heck no, no wonder it ain't drilling for works. Don't want you up there. Get out of there. There we go. There's Miss Tasha. How is Tasha doing today? Oh, here you go, rest it. Air, uh, air, air dry clay. Yeah. I was going to try to model me some lures out of it then see if I can't get me some resin to pour them. Yeah. To make like a mold and then pour them. <laughs> Filipina said, careful, rustic. Oh, no, never, man. You should have been on there, Filipino, while ago, <laughs> out there melting these things. I had flip flops and shorts on. I still do. <laughs> hey, Brutal Bob. I, I read. I keep wanting to say here. Brutal Bobby because that's what Coastal calls him. I'm good, except for my little toe burn. <laughs> I told him a while ago, I said, that's the only reason why y'all in here watch me do this. This is boring. It's to see if I'm going to burn myself. <laughs> 
Just wait till I want to make some baits or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's going to be interesting. Yeah. Fishing local. Are you fishing tomorrow? Hey, two by two. Yep. Alex, I got to get a hold of Big Mike, and I'm going to, uh, me and Dominic go up there, fish with him one weekend. Bad Boy Streetwear brand. Bad Boy. Where you been, Bad Boy? Yeah, fishing local only lives about 30 minutes up the road from me. If that. <coughs> Probably not. Aw. I was going to say about going tomorrow night. Some. I see him about going to the um, Shallow Bend. Shallow Bend. Well, that didn't want to come out there. That fishing pier is just outside of Tarboro. Oh, 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 oh. I'll fall down the floor and get it in my foot. <laughs> but, yeah. So you didn't even catch a bass today, huh? Nope, I caught it. I hooked everything but a bass, a turtle, a pike. Had a catfish chase a whopper plopper today. They'll do that sometimes. They hunger. That was kind of funny because all you could see was the, um, it was a nice size channel cat because the spine up out of the water was about three inches long. Yeah. For that top spine, and you could see it swimming behind the whopper plopper. I swore I thought I had a shark chasing it in a freshwater pond. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, I doubt I get this one on there. Yeah, I know about the spot under the bridge. Two five two. I normally I like to go down there to the where the boat where the boat ramp is. I go down there and fish when the shad are running. But I also go down to the um bend area where that fishing pier is. Looks nice. Definitely need to take a Dremel tool to the edges. Nah. Or something. Well, lose them. <laughs> I wish I, I got one out there somewhere, but it's air operated. And of course, my son's got my air. You have to show me sometime. Oh, yeah, man. I might go over to um, Falkland boat ramp. That'd be a good place to go, too, if it's deep enough by that bridge. Right now, the Tor River's so low, it's not even funny. Huh. Complaining about that again. Do what? My daughter's been complaining that her tooth her tooth is messed up for the last couple of days. But we can't see the one. She, she might be. JTC said that's a nice shirt. Oh, look at that JTC's in the house. I was going to say, I, I didn't think you'd see the backlash shirt. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> I got my own merchandise on today. Hey, why not? Let's see. Come here, Jeremy. Uh-oh. Did it actually... Make it some... Uh, the export is at 99%. Let's see if it actually finishes this here. Got me some, I made some egg sinkers and look at that. Yes, half no, no. These are good for rocks. These type like this right here is. Filipino, yes, that's the beach he went to. Yeah, JPC said, yeah, that's a nice shirt. Hey, there's Sullivan. Give me just. A... 
Yeah, don't delay looking at her teeth, man. If she's hurting that bad with her tooth, she's going to be miserable. The home health nurse just said that her tooth is loose. That's why she's saying it doesn't feel right. Oh, she said it don't feel right because it's loose. She's in Indiana, Carl. What's up? She's in Indiana, Carl. Russell Backlash channel on together doesn't get any better. <clears throat> well, he is a member on both our channels, so. Yeah. Y'all go check him out, man. Give a big shout out for Indiana, Carl. So I got to keep some money saved up for a tooth fairy. She's only four. She's not even in kindergarten. She shouldn't be. Um, she got to keep that open doorknob. Tie it to a doorknob. Yeah. <clears throat> My grandkids, man, the tooth fairy's expensive. <laughs> She's saying that the tooth's going to fall out next Tuesday. She is. That's so what she should know. That's what fans yeah. are saying. Ain't that HTC says he's 185 hours short of 4,000 watch hours. Come on, y'all. Y'all, uh, Go, go check him out. Hook up with his playlist tonight. Y'all go to bed. Yeah. Play his playlist. Let's get him over that. He's been working hard. AJ Fishing Maniac told me last night he thinks he's he's like 10 away. He's like 10 hours shy of being monetized or something like that. <clears throat> yeah, I like watching AJ. He talks to himself a lot. Sullivan's Irish Pub. In the Philippines. Yep, that's Sullivan right there now. Mr. Sullivan. I would love to go there. He's from here, but he lives over there now. She... Oh, good. I told her she did. I'd give her ice cream. So I guess when she wakes up, she'll get ice cream. <laughs> I told Panda she made stinky today, to, and it was actually in the pot. I was going to give her ice cream. That's cool, Jerry. In the pot, so. Heck yeah. When she gets up from her nap, I guess I got to give her ice cream. Give her seconds here now, buddy. I got vacuum this because I'm getting a lot of little lead shavings in the floor. I know my foot's going to find them. Yep, you better. Yeah, if y'all would, man, go go check out his channel. If you go, if you go to bed tonight, hey. If you've got YouTube on your TV, you go to bed, you turn the TV down, just let his playlist play, and let's help him out. Go check out his channel, too, during the day and watch the videos, because uh, he's got some, oh, man, he got some I'm monster people bed. on him. You know? That young man can fish. The and wife also got a nice fire angel What is that? Case. case for my cell phone, it's fire engine red. Oh, what kind of phone is that? It's a Samsung Note 20. Oh, that's what I got. I can't find a case from out of nowhere. Amazon. I'm going to have to because all I can find is this rubber thing to put around it. And the best thing is, well, it ain't much more than a rubber thing, but it's got a little um, piece that sticks out on the back so it can be like a stand. I just spilled my soda everywhere. Oh my god. <coughs> soda, run away, run away, soda, run away, soda. Well, I was picking on you earlier. I said I ran in so fast I tripped over your grill and knocked everything down. Yeah, I'm going back over you get the towel. I just. Oh, here's one right here. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. I was hoping it was going to turn into the backlash show. I was going to have to call um, Bearded over. No, I went to move something and I knocked my soda over. I couldn't knock that full bottle of water over. I got to hop off here because we're going to try to get Panda to go to go night night and she's right across the hall from me. So. Night night? It's still early, bud. You trying well, to get to her, her afternoon nap. Oh. So I'll talk to you later, Rusty. Okay, buddy.
When she wakes up, I'll probably pop up here and go live. All right. Because I think my um, export should be done here in just a few minutes. So I can't believe I'll I talk to you all later on. All right, buddy. All right. Mm, bye. I can't believe it's well station. I can't, too. It's me. It's all cleaned up. Get this all done, then wash my desk. Wash it back up. All right. Oh, I missed a spot right there. There's no more remote control. Uh, yeah, it's very weird for me. I got soda everywhere. Okay, there we go. All right, where were we? Where were we? Maybe someday Rustic will turn me blue. Oh, buddy, uh, I'll take care of that when we get off here. I can't do it from a phone, but I can when I get off. I, I'll give you that ranch, buddy. Uh, let's see, Carl. That sounds bad. <laughs> that, that did sound right. <laughs> Oh, mercy. I got several of these sinkers made up already. That's awesome. Got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of them put together already. I still like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. This one here I might have to redo because it's got a crack in it, but it's held together. I got to throw it on the other side. I'm just going to need it. Oh, yo, Hanksy! I'll say Hansy, Hansky, yo, Hans KTB, yo, Hansky. Hope I said that right. If I didn't, I apologize. You have to welcome in, welcome in, welcome in. We're trying to make some sinkers here. Trying to make us uh, some sinkers. Trying to make uh, these right here, these round pieces of lead like this. Turn them into that. Then I might rubber dip them. I don't know. We'll just have to, I, might, I might do one just to see how it turns out. Then again, I might not. I ain't going to put that much into them. So if you watch two on TV, do they get watched there? Yes. Yes. Uh, because, uh, if you're YouTube, to have YouTube, period, you got to have that email address. And, uh, I'm watching here on the, when I watch somebody on the phone, I got them playing on the big screen so it gives them double watch hours. And then I go into the living room under a name I used to use, and it's under a different email, and I give them watch hours on that one too. But yeah, if you're, uh, it only works one time though. I mean, you, you take in a, give them watch hours, and if you wait two or three days, you can do it again and then give them some more watch hours. Does it mean it shows that you viewed that video again? Hey, there's Bull Daniels. Welcome in, Bull. Uh, maybe one day we can get Rez to come up on live. He's been catching a lot of flatheads, a lot of champ cats. That's pretty good ones, too. He told me he had a place down there he can go catch some decent sized flatheads, and he's been doing it. Ah, uh -huh, thank you, Carl. I appreciate that, Carl. I not touch my shirt too much because my fingers are turning black from that lid. But it didn't do too bad with that spoon. It gave me the disc that I wanted to... Because the way that thing is beveled in and beveled out, when you throw it, it should do this. And uh, set it right on the bottom and hang. 
And when you pull it up, you should do that right there, come back up. And don't just pull through the water, it skims upwards. And Small Town Outdoors come up with that, and John Order shared it to me, and I decided I'd try it out. And let me tell you, it, it's hot. My hand is almost medium rare. <laughs> I gotta drill some more. Oh, I think I'll drill several holes. Oh, here's one right here. Oh, oh. oh that's a good one right there. That's heavy. These sinkers are weighing anywhere between uh five ounce, five and a half. The uh the one egg sink the egg one looks like one I did is three and a half, then this one right here is five. This should be a four. I imagine this should be a four. Oh, Ashley Chestnut. Yeah, I'm back. My phone overheated. And it shut me down. But I was done anyway. I mean, they, the fire went out. And, uh, and if you don't keep that stuff clear, liquefied, it just don't set right. It'll cause cracks in the lid. I had one long ago. What did I do with it? I guess I put a swill in it. Well, it cause cracks in the lid when it's not solidified, just perfect. I had one while ago. I had a crack in it. Oh, well, I'll come across the center letter. <laughs> Gave my cousin about 200 pounds of lead. Oh, dude, I could have used about 30 pounds of that myself. Doesn't know that. I'm trying to keep these little, little lead shavings here together and remelt them back down. Reuse them. That's awesome, man. I hope they made 200 pounds of sinkers. He's a lead head. Uh, I've been called worse. Uh, and besides that, how'd you know I'd have a lead head? Yeah, uh -huh. cost too much to ship to you. I hear that. Shipping cost, man. It's Next, I want to order me some lead to melt down. Uh, they said I can order it from Amazon. I'm gonna find out what it costs. See, see if it's uh even worth melting down. Because Brad Coldhill, he makes sinkers. I'm going to check his out for 20 pounds of a certain type of sinkers. And if it's cheaper to get them from him, I'll just give them to him. He owns two bait shops. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, he's going to need that stuff to keep sinkers. I got a local tire shop. They give me lead weights, tire weights and stuff. And you can tell when it ain't lead because they float the whole thing. It'll be a tire weight that long and that joke will float on top. But when you go to pick it up, that thing is heavy, but it'll float right on top. And that's right. They said the hooks, everything floats right on top of that lead. That's weird. Oh, you live down there in Ohio, don't you? Yeah, I think Bull lives down in Ohio. That's what John said. Oh, let's see here. They don't pick it my head, right there. Uh -uh. I don't want you there. Uh -uh. 
Like Gary. Yeah, John said when I come down to Ohio, man, I need we're gonna swing by and visit you or something. Get hooked up and all of us go fishing. I said that'd be cool. Down for that. There's another one. Another one buys the dust time. Another one buys the dust. Yeah. There's a good heavy one. Oh, no, he went too far back. Boy, that lay is sharp when it comes out of the drill bit. Ow! Set that over there. I'm going to dump myself again. Yeah, he said when I come down to Ohio, he said we can get it hooked up with you and Miss Chrissy and downtown at Brown and we can go fishing, which I need to check up on him, too. I ain't checked up on him in about a day. See how the progress is coming with him. There we go. Another one buys dust. I'm just sitting here doing up some sinkers. And I know it's exciting. Who <laughs> is exciting to watch me do sinkers? <laughs> I can only do about three or four more. And that's about it. It's only the uh, swivels I got. So I get some more. Like I said, catfish ain't supposed to be fancy. It's supposed to be fun and trying to catch a big one and trying just trying to catch fish, man. The only reason why I'm making these is so big is because I need them for the Mississippi River. That river, uh, it's no joke. That's got a heck of a throw, too. It's got a good undertow, it'll pull a 16 ounce weight down the river like you wouldn't believe it. They can get hung up on something in that river undertow and pull it. It's all of every song. Oh, I need to smash that a little bit. That's wide open. There we go. Let's see. I got one more. I think it's all I got. Got some little bitty ones, but I don't want to use them. That one. Ooh, wonder where them hooks come from. All right, we can do it one more. I think I should do my little egg sinker there. And oh, here's one right here's a good one. That never went right on. Oh, I might have to do two more. I didn't know I, I didn't see that one. Look at that other one. Oh, well, I better smash that down too. Flare it out there a little bit. <coughs> oh, I got to do one more. Come out of that. Hold it there, he goes. 
Trying to find my heaviest ones. There it is, right there. What did I do with it? There it is. Well, look at there. Finally got a bunch of them done. All I like is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight more to do. Which means I'll have to get some more. Uh, good Lord, that's, that thing don't want to go on. There it is. Smash the little thing down. There, there we go. Get back in there. Oh, all that over there. It gets up here. Dump all that there. We'll put that in there. Take all this here. Put it in more. Gather up this lead right here. Let it down there. Let me take cleaned up. All right, we got that done, folks. Oh, that's sticky. Oh, what's that? Yeah, I'm gonna get the back and get that up down there. Hey, Baker, Baker! Give me a second here, folks. I'll be right back. I'm gonna get me a clean wash rag so I can get this sticky off this desk. Yeah, I kind of tipped the silver over a while ago, and I got sticky stuff all over my desk. Uh, trying to get it cleaned up here a little bit. Oh. All right. Put that right over there. Hey, look there. It's my big brother, Matt, in here. There he is. There he is. Got Baker Baker in the house. Got my big brother, Matt, in the house. Got Bull Daniels. Welcome in, y'all. Welcome in. Let's see here. There we go. Is any, any one of you guys that's that hard enough to come up here with a nut job? Oh, there we got to put that up. That door. One drill bit, two drill bits. Put this back up to here. There, I got my disc. Hey, there's Double J. What's going on, Double J? Put that in there too. Don't lose it. That's got to go into my band. Put these hooks right here up for the ball. And uh, look at there. Philippines on station. Sullivan's still hanging there with us. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Awesome. I figured Leon to come in here. I was, I was going to holler at him, show him something. He wanted, 
some hat pins, but I couldn't find a hat pins between here and South Carolina. Nowhere. I couldn't find a hat pin nowhere. They just don't sell them anymore. And uh, I have to go online and look for them, I guess. But I did get him something. Because he asked, and I said, yes, I would. Oh, we got some good, awesome channels in here. Y'all need to make sure y'all check each other out. I like watching Sullivan's live cam and uh, from his club there, man. It shows the street view and, and everything, and uh, it's just interesting. I'll get right them scooters down there. You don't see no big Chevy GMC trucks, Cadillacs, and stuff like that. They ride a lot of motorcycles and scooters down there. Which I can't blame them. It'd be easier to get around. Ooh, I still got some lead right here on top of this desk. He dead up there. What did I do with that one? Hey, I got a sinker still left in there. Well, that was in there. <laughs> Well, I still got about eight sinkers left. Well, I got me enough sinkers now for catfishing. Oh, that reminds me. Do one more. Uh, I'm not going to. I'm just going to take it off. I can't get it off because it's hard as heck. Get it out of there. Got to put this on that fishing pole here. Things uh, I've already got one on here. Got a three-way swivel. Put the big hook on there. Slide it right in the hole right there. Slide right into the deal, and it's ready to rock and roll. Damn, I'm ready to go. It's ready to rock the road now, but I won't be gone for a little while. We have too much to do this week. He said, about watch our send that link for our mate so we can check out his playlist. Jeremy Tournament Cats. I know I got some mods in here. Uh, can somebody drop Jeremy Tournament Cats link, please? Because he's been working, man, he's been working for, oh my gosh, man, two, three months trying to get them watch hours. And uh, he should have done had them watch hours a long time ago. But I don't know what the deal was. He's not too far from him. So somebody please drop his link. Getting that late in the day, late in the day. What's this? What's this? We got a homestead in here. Gray wolves in the house. Hey, Godwin, honey, how you doing? Like gray wolves in the house. Thank y'all for dropping Jeremy's link. Thank y'all so much. He's a good guy, man. I fished with him. And uh, I think it was Tuesday night, on Tuesday night, and, uh, oh, man, he, <laughs> the way he is on his videos is the way he is there. He is, he'll, he'll get on the camera and he'll shoot the bull or whatever and talk smack and, uh, just, just old laid back young man and, uh, and, but when it, he listens for that poles and clickers and boy, he's, he's dead serious now about that fishing. He, he can goop off on the, in front of that camera, but if he hears that one click, boy, he's told he, he said, and he can catch some monsters. He's caught some monsters. Some monster flatheads, some monster blues. 
he puts the time in, I tell you that. And he's trying to grow his channel, and he's got a great channel. Got much respect for him. No man got a little head on his shoulders. And if somebody would, can they share out a, a Carolina Real Screamers link? Then Gray Wolf for dropping the link. Somebody share his out and Outdoors of Big Man. Y'all make sure you share Outdoors of Big Man's link out because he's dropping links too. Yeah, I got skipjack scales. Came off a of tackle box, I guess. There you go, Gray Wolf. Yeah, somebody get a... I posted a link down there. Somebody wants to come up. Shoot the breeze with me, man. Shoot the breeze with me. Oh, I got other mods in there. Look, please drop Greg Wolf's link. Carolina Real Screamers. Y'all make sure y'all, if y'all get Solvents, drop, drop Solvents. He, he's got a good channel. I'm telling y'all, he got a club down there and he uh, shows live footage from the, the door view to the street view. And uh, I watch it. I think it's interesting. Very interesting. I sit there and watch it for a long time. Just watch the people go back and forth. Zoom, 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 zoom. Busy, 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 busy place down there. Got some great content. You don't tell I'm not much of a talker. <laughs> well, I got over half my sinkers made up. I probably got two or three pounds there. Done. Hello, Jeremy. We are watching via Rustic Outdoors. Thanks. Awesome, man. I mean, y'all guys are going to enjoy that. Get him catching some big, big fish. He's even got one on there where uh, we we'll meet him with fishing. We caught some nice fish when I was down there Tuesday. Don't play my videos down there because they'll probably laugh. Look at them little bitty fish he catches. Jeffrey Allen says, sweet, buddy, I do that with my round balls for the muzzle loaders. Hey, I know a lot of people that makes their own lead for the muzzle loaders. Makes the round balls. I used to have some, a uh, guy made some for me, and they done pretty good. Boy, they put up, whoa. Chasing tail, welcome in, chasing tail. And just sit back, chillaxing. Watching the chat go by. <laughs> My 72 cal is a one quarter ounce ball. I don't know what size mine was. Mine's a 50 caliber, but uh, it shot a 50 caliber ball. But it's a, uh, I don't know what ounce it shot at. It was about the size of a marble. But man, when that thing hit, though, it would put a hole in them. It knocked them there down. Chase Taylor says, my short lunch time. Well, thanks for coming in on your short lunch time. Hello, Emily. Hello, Emily. Hello, Miss Emily. Hope you feel better. You will after a few days. There's no hanky panky. <laughs> Before or after. Oh, uh, he says, got 495 cal. I have a 50 cal rifle and pistol. Awesome. Yep, Baker, uh, deer season's around the corner. I think this week, South Carolina's Velvet Bowl come in. Then I think uh, Georgia's fish to come in. And then here in Missouri, it comes in September 15th. Bow season does. Unless they change it. 
putting in the food food plots. Hey, make sure you got some sweet stuff out there to eat where you can keep coming in. Never said I want my muzzle tag this year since I will be here. Where are you gonna be at? You can still gonna be in California or you gonna be where? My, <laughs> my freezer's requiring at least two dough. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> Deep freeze, I'll put his order in it. Kentucky season opens September 1st for both. And they should be moving good. I mean, I go over there in the morning and said, man, them things are moving all over the place. Oh, that'd be a spot to hunt right there. Back there off the corner where bees out to the apple orchard there. Oh, mercy. Here, love them apples that fall. Hey, get you a, uh, oh, look, somebody down in the basement. He's been sitting there a while. And he's down there. There he is. I just mean, had to look down there and see you. I know, man. I was watching Chad on TV. <laughs> Always watching something else. Why, yeah. How you been, brother? I'm good. Jeffrey. Can't be up here long, but I, I figured nobody else was coming up, so I figured I'd come up for a little bit. Well, I'll, I'll put it down there for you to come up. There's Gray Wolf up here. I ain't seen Gray Wolf in about a month and a half, two months, almost. <sighs> yeah, I got to pick up two real poles and four poles put up. Oh, he still ain't showed up? He ain't here yet. He should be getting pretty close. Yeah, he's like 13 hours away. You hear you hear his puppy over there, don't you? I hear the puppy loud and clear. I can barely hear you. That puppy's loud. <laughs> Little Daniel says, I nice put a face uh, to it. Hey, big man. Oh, uh, she will, Jeffrey. She'll feel better pretty soon. Bingo. Uh, you whisper now. I'm not whispering. Oh, what you do? That puppy knock it out. <laughs> I don't hear it barking anymore. I told her to shut up. <laughs> So now she's playing with Shep. So what do, you, what do you think about my little fancy river sinkers? Well, it ain't the prettiest thing in the world, but it'll do. Yeah, they ain't pretty. I think I had one out of all of them that came out good. That was that egg sinker. Oh, I don't know, man. It seems like it's just a lazy day today. It ain't like 137. Yeah, it's a hot one, though. Yeah, it got buggy out there enough that my phone, I had a fan blowing on me and my phone, and it's still shut down. Is of course, I'm sitting right there next to a fire pit that's two, 300 degrees. <laughs> that didn't help matters much. Yep. Yeah, but now I got <laughs> wipes last week. Oh. <laughs> Time he gets there, you ain't gonna want to get rid of that dog. You're gonna get attached to it. I don't want to get rid of her now. That's a very vocal dog, at least it talked to you. Mm -hmm. They are to make good company, though. 
Oh, yeah. I just can't wait to see how Dingo's going to react to it. Yeah. Well, I've been taking her and in, in interacting her with my other dogs, with the other big dogs, so that she's kind of used to uh, cantankerous. Yeah. Just in case, but, you know, I think Shep's more attached to that puppy than I am. <laughs> Old man's over there actually playing. <laughs> Great Wolf, the link's in the chat. Are you coming up? Or are you scared? I'm still recuperating. I was going to go skip that fishing today, and I thought, nah, I'm going to stay home one more day. <laughs> I'm, I'm still tired. Yeah, and then you go start a fire and start making lead sinkers. Yeah. Well, I had to get that done. All right, start my skipjack day. I got to leave here at 1 o'clock in the morning. Oh, man, I dread that three-hour drive. That's halfway to Georgia. <laughs> I plan on staying overnight. You're allowed to hunt skipjack a day, like 200 in the procession. That's it. And uh, so if I fish two days, I'll be all right. Big mm. TC said, Big Pat. Jeremy. Jeremy, up. Uh, Sullivan said that he's they're playing your playlist right now. I think he's playing it in, the, in their club. They're fixing to watch you catch some big, big catfish. Okay, Baker, thank you for coming in. You have a good day. Be safe out there. Don't get overheated. Who's linked to that? Jeremy Turner Cats. Yeah, he's in the Philippines. Yeah, uh, he, uh, he's got that club down there, man, and bar lounge, whatever it is down there, man. And I uh, uh, think they're playing it on that big screen down there. So, Jeremy, how many hours you need now? I did 10 hours plus last night. I did at least eight. Yeah, I'm going to play them all night tonight. Let's play this. I played half of it already. I got to play uh, the other half. He should have had that a long time ago, man. I don't know what was up with that. I mean, he went fishing. He had like 600-something views on it so far. But I, I rewatched that uh, when me and him were fishing. I, re I played that whole video today. I didn't realize how sunburned I was till I looked at that video. I see myself. I said, "Good Lord, I look like the lobster man." <laughs> I wasn't saying nothing. Jeffrey said, I did you and JTC last night because that was a good video worth watching twice. Yeah, I, I, I enjoyed it, man. I had a blast. I can't ever thank you guys enough, man. Awesome. They're, they're awesome. Yeah. Well, you know, I'm going to have to go up there and, and up you. Yeah. I'm going to go up there and hang out with Jeremy Tournament Cats and Carolina Real Screamers, and I'm going to go show you how to put big fish on the deck. Well, they're going to have to get a bigger boat. <laughs> it's all good. I was a big old boy in that boat. <laughs> you get in there, and said, uh, that's the first thing Jer uh, Jeremy and uh, well, Jeremy's going to say we need a bigger I'm boat. jump off in that hole that Jeremy keeps talking about, and I'm going to throw that gator up there for Jeremy to uh, start cooking. <laughs> I 
I was looking. He had me looking for gators now. I just keep my eyes open for them gator boy. Jeffrey said it's nice having four channels. <laughs> I got one. The other one's on a big screen TV. And that's that's where it stays. I don't even get on that one anymore. We just use I just use it to uh, uh, watch videos on when I go to bed. Kick it, let it play all night. Then I can kick this one in here and let it play all night, and it gives them double watch hours. I've never had gator, man. I've always wanted to go to Outback, eat gator tail, get that gator tail. And eat it. I know it's expensive, but I still want one. Try it. If I didn't it's like it, expensive, but Outback quit serving gator tail. Like, go to Bass Pro Shop. If you go to Bass Pro Shop that has a uh, uh, has the restaurant in it, they serve it there. So I check it out. Is a uh, uh, I don't know why they quit serving it, man. That was one of their top menus right there. Dinner. That's why. That was, was getting money harder back. and harder for them to get it. Yeah, the Gator Tail and the Bloomin' Onion was their top two sellers. Now they went down to the ribs and Bloomin' Onion, which I don't care for their ribs, but it already has us. We're playing his playlist of 24 on a TV here at the bar. Awesome, Sullivan. Awesome, awesome. Yeah, he just needs a few more watch hours. ABS says, what's cooking, folks? Welcome in. Welcome in. Hey, we're just sitting here shooting the breeze. Sporting the Carolina Myrtle Beach, Palmetto State. Oh, it also says something about relaxing, unwind, and get sunburned. <laughs> See, you know. If it was me, I'd be supporting the Carolina Real Streamers or, or JTC, you know. Well, I got his shirt in there, but it's packed up. Jamie's. Beckers. Y'all feel the love from Rustic? Man. Well, I don't have anything from Jeremy. I, I didn't even get a sticker while I was down there. <laughs> I did get a pole folk, a cat man cat's pole frog, man. And I thank you so much, Jeremy. I got to get a real for it. I'm looking into an ancient mariner. I want to put an ancient mariner 6,000 on it. Mm. Just depending on how much they are. I appreciate that, man. Because now I got the twin, the twin gold rush, got the JTC rod and the Babalu rod. I hope I take a fish and they both go, whoa, same time. At the last minute. I don't wait all day. <laughs> hey, man, we, we talking about JTC's luck. Pull it out right there at the last minute. Yep. That's either how he does it, too. We caught some good fish down there. And we caught six. Six good fish. Not one of them under 10 pounds. They're easy, way over 10 pounds. We got some 19, 17s. But got that 21 pounder. You know what? Oh, I need to put my thing so we move back on, uh, back on the pounds and ounces. There we go. I love the tail. We used to have it once a month when we lived in Lake Charles, Louisiana. And I've always wanted to eat the gator, man, the gator tail, or just get some uh, the meat, deep fry it, and eat it up, man. They, they say that's real good meat. All right, Chase the tail. Be safe. Don't work too hard. Thank you for coming in. Chasing tail. I didn't even got me a matching hat from a shirt, man. It's blue, got the blue shirt on. He's sport, got that new fishing hat. Look at that. I've even got one uh, when I wear my brown khaki shorts. Look at that. 
You yeah. turn it over the other way. There we go. Now, now turn it to the side a little bit. I, I hey, all is Gomer. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I am going to do a challenge out there that the Hawaiian shirt that I had on and Daryl, he had his on. I, I, if I told him, it's new to wear yours, I'd have wore mine again. <laughs> I mean, it was clean. I, we washed it. I should have wore it again, but he's going to wear yours. And uh, we're going to save it for that night. So I'm going to do a challenge out there that, you know, go get you one of them loud, really colorful Hawaiian shirts and go catfishing and do a video. <laughs> Just do it. I'm gonna, have to go, I'm gonna have to go get me a neon green or bright blue uh, t-shirt. Hey, four some, outdoors. Hey, Anthony, how you doing? Uh, get some of that clothes paint and get me some some Palmdale leaves and make my own. Because <laughs> I know they ain't got one big enough to fit me. Well, they do. You just have to order it. I don't know. That one that you had on looked like it was too small for you. No, it went, It fits perfectly, man. And it, it's a cool shirt, actually, because I was sweating. And that shirt didn't even retain sweat. And I'm like, it kept me pretty cool. Yeah. And, uh, but no, that shirt, that shirt fits me good. It, it, it just looks that way. I could take and pull it out like I do this right here. You know? Now, when I first got it, it was tied on me. <laughs> but now it's not. And I dropped about 20 pounds. Mm. I'm a little better now. I'm getting smaller. Not getting any wiser, but I'm getting smaller. <laughs> I don't know what it is, man. Just that. And ever since I've had that hernia surgery, boy, it's just. Whatever I eat, it hurts real bad. Right, put pressure on that, it, it hurts. So I try not to eat very often. You need to go on a liquid diet. Oh, that'd be interesting, wouldn't it? I had to carry around a horrible porta potty with me everywhere I go. <laughs> Hello, baby. I see a tree. <laughs> I'll get you one of them bucket lids, and you just got to find your own bucket. I caught a fish, man. I caught me a fish. Took you long enough. I don't know. PB. He got something made. Oh yeah, Anthony. I got I got about twenty made up. That sock came out pretty good on that spoon. I got several of them made up. They clean them up a little bit, but I don't know. What for? It's hard to find okay. something that, that aluminum won't stick to it. Everything. I'm letting the, the rest of that aluminum and that skillet out there harden up, and I'm going to take it out and uh, put it up. Probably already hard. Yeah, oh, yeah. It's not cooled off now. One thing about a cast iron skillet, it don't take long to heat it up. don't take long to cool it off. And you're not planning on using that for cooking food anymore, are you? No. <laughs> no. All, all, the, all the black that flaked off that dude. <laughs> It's, it's bad. I'm going to use it strictly for something. And I got some more in there. I wouldn't worry about using that one. I picked the worst one out of the bunch. I got to treat all the rest of them. I got two more. I got to treat them. Get them treated. I think, we, I think I'm going to do a fundraiser. And get you a smelting pot. That way you ain't got to have a fire. You just plug it into the freaking wall. <laughs> no, it's like I told him, we can't know how to do that. I'll get my own. 
Yeah, I used to. Hey, Brandon. Yeah, I used to spoon. I might have to do some digging because I got I got two of them here at the house, and I only use one. I was doing two at a time, but then it was just too much of a hassle. Yeah, they got that one that you take put put that mold on you, pull the lever, and fill yeah. it up. I want one of those. Mine ain't that fancy. Mine's a little one. He said, BS, I ordered a t shirt, 4X from a YouTuber when it finally arrived and barely fit. I figured Chinese 4X is extra large here. <laughs> if you're lucky. I don't know, man. I, I bought Sis Rose a t shirt. She said she wanted the small, so I got a lady small. And I thought, man, girl, she can't be that small. Well, I, get I know uh, Scott sent me a shirt, and I told him 5X, and it showed up, and it barely fits. In my normal T-shirts, I can get away with a 3X. Yeah, 3X when, you, when you got a when you got a, a good ah. cotton T-shirt that's thick, you know, it's good good quality T-shirts, they fit like they should. You get them Chinese shirts, it's so thin, and, and you can't hardly fit. <laughs> them jokers, it'll be... 20x and get it in, it's it's an extra small. <laughs> I'll be right back. Uh uh Brandon's outdoor adventure. Hey, y'all go check his channel out now. He caught him up. He's on live the other day. He caught his new PB car. That was an awesome morning. He likes to carp fish. He also catches skipfish out there, too. He caught his new PB car, finally. Ooh. I finally found the, uh, I'm always saying, tails up, tails up. I finally found the logo I want from a tails up, just the emblem. Not the words, but just the hand. Like that right there. Tails up. I'll put tails up on it. This one I'm gonna put on the back of the van. I was gonna use that hand there, but it kind of looks like a lady with leg spread or, or chicken legs with something in the middle of it. I'm not gonna use that one. I don't, I don't think I like that one. Uh, Anthony said that Daryl take you to the deep hole, Rusty. I don't think so. He told me about a few of them down through there. We was gonna try another spot out that he called. Uh, 19th hole or something like that, whatever. But anyway, but it started pouring down rain on us. But yeah, I think I'm going to use that green hand right there for my tails up. Jeffrey said, hang loose, Rusty. <laughs> now I went down to Ron Johns, because she wants a shirt from there. Ron Johns Surf Shop, Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. If you're a big guy like me, just let her go in. You don't even bother going in because they ain't got a shirt to pitch you. And there's that whole big old store down there. They have one little rack down there. And they say, this is where all the extra large, the 2X and 3X. They have one 3X shirt on there. And I'm like, Really? <laughs> I walked out. I said, "Yeah." I said, "Man, they ain't got nothing for big guys down here." I told him, "This is a kid store." <laughs> Depot's a long ways from the nineteenth hole. Yeah, I don't think we went there. We went about 
five to seven miles down the river where we launch. Oh yeah, he's he's set up nice on his boat now. He's he's got it. He's got a nice system set up there. I'd like to go fishing with him again, but go fishing with him when there ain't no rain and stuff like that. It rained on us like several times. And that last right there, it started pouring down. We set up under a bridge for a half hour, waiting for it to quit raining. While we was waiting, we went ahead and he said, y'all throw that poles out back here. And nah, I'll just go ahead and let's put them up. So we went ahead and put them up. When it quit raining, we went on in. He said, I'm ready to do it again. Yeah, I like to go back fishing with them guys. To decals with an with an edge. You live down there, Anthony? You live down there in Georgia or Chattanooga? See what it says. Application tips. It says a smooth, soft surface. I think clean and dry. Else, for a sticker to be applied, apply a sticker to surface between the temperature of 60 to 8 degrees. Use shade, sun, or a hair dryer to get desirable surface temperature. Oh, so you put that on like regular decals. Okay, baby. Just cut that bag. Come in. You know. He said he lives about 30 minutes from me. I live close to 175 in Georgia. Well, it took me about 42 minutes to get to his house. On John search job. I'll put that on, on, on the old fishing main. Now tell me what that hand looks like. Don't that look like uh, two chicken legs or something in the middle, or, or does that look like a lady with legs spread open? <laughs> if she does, she needs to shave. <laughs> look, tell me, Patty, <laughs> what that looks like. Don't it? Looks like a pit bull eating mayonnaise to me. Yeah, that's what you would say. You guys, you guys on there, tell me what that hand looks like right there. I'll tell him he's smoking crack and he ain't sharing. Looks like he's like he's here and her legs are down there. <laughs> oh, look at that one. Like she's being nailed by a pig or something. <laughs> don't have pig legs. <laughs> I don't know why they tell it. That don't even look like the tail that. I, I was staying in Dawsonville, Georgia for three days at a party in at Dawsonville, Georgia. That's where we stayed when we come back from Myrtle Beach. Good time though. We caught eight fish, well, five, six, seven, eight. nine fish, and uh, I caught five. He caught four, and then uh, uh, we caught eight off of live while we was just fishing. He was doing videos on it, and uh, then I caught that one big one uh, on, on the live. That's the only one we caught on live.
And what was weird was his fish finder showed a lot of big ones down right on the bottom. And we throw right out there in them and uh, didn't even get a bite. That's because it was you. You said about an hour for me. No, he didn't. The other day, y'all caught like 30. Yep, 30 plus. Y'all was in the boat by a, a dam, wouldn't you? By locking dam or dam or something like that. I got to see y'all fishing out there. That's the, that, that was the day he, he, he was on that live. And y'all was, them poles never stopped yanking, man. It was like, boom, 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 boom. Lost doubles on the boat. Elsa. Yeah, it started out at the damn free line. Yeah, that's what me and him was doing. He, we started out free line. Free line and chick. Hey, Freezer Bow. How's it going? Freezer Bow. Oh, that little bite on my legs healing up finally. Boy, that cool down here. It's hot here. Man, it's hot. We bounce it. Hey, Bull Daniels. Yeah, I seen that. We all caught all them fish, man. That, that was awesome. Like one right after the other. One flip and fly. Where's that? On my dad gum head. Well, you got see? that song down there, shoot it. Hell no, that'll hurt. You see him do that with a mirror, man, like it's right here. I mean, use, use your phone. <laughs> use that phone there, Hitchcock. The Buffalo Bill. Only if I can shoot you with it first. Pretty about that fly loves your head. <laughs> and I don't want you to shoot me first, man. I like my skin. <laughs> oh, Raymond's laughing. <laughs> hey, Raymond. Ray Boyd. Raymond's over laughing. <laughs> How are you ever going to get good if you don't practice? <laughs> well, Texas down there and says, Dad got me mad. You got salt all over the house. Quack. Well, I don't know. At least the floor is good. I already had to get the shop back out twice. Jeez, that's a lot of flies. Or a lot of misses. One really fast one. <laughs> yeah, a lot of misses. <laughs> Raymond says, Brother Big Man. And he says, Good deer behind you. Yeah. 
big old 10 point hammer don't do it justice because you can't really see how tall that the, the antlers are Double J says FBO Ray Bones. Raymond says FBO hey. Raymond says Sir JJ Double J. Oh man, it's been a long day. It's not. It's just now turned two o'clock. It's been a long day. Oh, I, hey, Matt, I've even got me a necklace to match my shirt, but I got to get a chain for it. Mm -hmm. Right there. It says David on it. Camera's not going to pick up the word David, but. Yeah, I seen it the other day. My grandson wears it all the time. It fits his neck perfectly. He likes about that much going. He oh, likes about that much reaching around mine. And then it's tight. Like, ah. Oh, fat neck. You put your choker chain on it. Well, I don't like choker chains. I gotta at least have it hang down a little bit. <laughs> Otherwise, I'll give me a silver necklace and put it on. She why silver? I don't know. Uh, silver's probably better than some of the others. They might turn your neck green. Let's see. Max said all of mine have been moved to the wall in my building. Oh, that's awesome. Got the stickers. Freezer bound. Appreciate it. No problem, bro. Yeah, I've got this big 10 point here. He's an older buck. He was a big, big body deer. And I got one in my bedroom. It was a 10 point. And they aged that deer at a year and a half old. Man, it's got a big rack 10 point on it. At a year and a half old. And I killed his daddy about three days prior to that and uh and but i shot him with an arrow and had good penetration man good blood penetration that dude took off running and then he got around the corner and i heard a there was a so I, by the time i climbed down i followed the heavy blood trail right to the end of a gut pile i was like golly man yeah. i think that I get over there and fell over, and the guy seen it. He just went and unloaded his gun because it was drugged for a little bit. And then uh, I walked right up on a gut pile. And I said, Man, this. Let's... He was a brute. Man, his, if that was his daddy boy, he was a brute. He was a monster. Monster, buddy. I got him over in Tennessee, and then I got this one right here up here in Missouri, up here on our lake up here. Got my earrings, man. Start sporting them around. Hey. Yeah. Got the head. Oh, that's where I was. Stand that down. I ain't gonna sand them down. I'm gonna throw them like they are. Hey, Randall Ronald. Welcome in, Randall. Brando. Randall Ronald. I seen the Rhino when I was up there in uh, South Carolina. It was that a putt putt golf thing? It was like a safari putt putt. Man, that up. Now, where was that at? Oh, it was at a. Uh, Restaurant we was eating that back over the corner they had a big old rhino statue over there, man. I, it looked real. I said, Look at the rhino right over there. Sitting next to a building in a bunch of greenery and stuff. And it was something about a rhino, some business it was called rhino, rhino something. It was pretty cool. It looked real from a distance. Far thing, but the smart thing, all we could see was zebras and elephants.
Peter outdoors with Big Matt changed his icon. Got him a uh, bundle of teeth. Like a barracuda. Mm hmm. And you do have some seas down there by you, so the ocean down there. There'll yep. be some barracuda in it. We just shoot the breeze. That's all we're doing. I'm done with my sinkers. It's just mainly just experiment stuff. Plus, I needed something for River because I was out. And I'm not gonna be able to go back down to Arkansas until I get some fish because she's wanting like uh, 54 fish or something like that. And I got several orders for 100s, and I'm like, golly, man, I can only catch 100 a day. How do you put that stick of there down? Congratulations, you are now the proud owner of the Ron John sticker. Well, it should be, man. It cost me three bucks. I'll cut the Ron John off and just leave the Myrtle Beach, South Carolina on there. I don't care about the Ron John surf shop. <laughs> Ain't got no clothes to fit me in there. They had a couple of hoodies, that's about it, but man, they were ugly. Paper thin, I'm like, ah, I don't want them things. Emily, 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 Emily. Miss Emily. I was saying hello to Miss Tasha and Miss Becca and a couple more. And, and Emily goes, Rustic, I'm a miss too. Yes, ma'am, you are. Hey, there's, there's Miss Tasha, Arts and Adventure with Miss Tasha. Tasha! Said, What's up? That much. Just getting them sinkers made. Get them up. Got my swivels on it. I know they don't look perfect, but they serve a purpose. Yes, I used to spin. Them. They weigh about five, six ounces, five and a half. Serves its purpose for me. Emily's right, no. Uh oh. It's up for my old lady nap. Here's
So I should tell everybody about the show now. When you're going to air what it is. She's got a cool thumbnail to go with it, too. Oh, she said I was listening the whole time. In your sleep. <laughs> Yeah, feel free to tell everybody about your show what time it comes on. Eight thirty central. Well thank you, Tasha. It's called yeah, the truck stop. Yep. The feel free, I should go right ahead. Y'all got links you want to drop? Drop them. I I I'm not picky. Please do. Please do. Please do. Don't say it, man. Yeah. Let's talk live. 9 30 p.m. Eastern Time and 8 30 p.m. Central Time. I don't know if she lives on the East. Yeah, she does live on the Eastern Coast. Mm hmm. Oh, there's Sis Rose. Hello, Sis Rose. Welcome in, Sis Rose. I missed you, Sis Rose. <laughs> yeah, truck stop isn't for under 18. We chat about whatever open panel. Oh, my God. You missed it last night, though. Ooh. That was. You know what I did miss last night? My pillow. <laughs> I was went to bed early. Hey, there's James Carolina Real Screamers. What's up, everyone? Checking in from work. Carolina, he's been talking bad about you. Oh, bad, bad, bad. You shouldn't be doing that, man. I tried to tell you, stop, stop, man. Stop, stop, uh, man. <laughs> Don't do said, that, man. You drove crazy in the boat. Your boat wasn't big enough for him. And I said the boat ain't big enough for you. <laughs> Look at that. Jamie, I'm, I was out there making sinkers today. Made me some good five and a half, six ounce. They don't they don't look perfect, but for the Mississippi River, they'll do just fine. And they'll swivel on it. But I did make something like this, though. And I'm thinking about making some more so I can find it. Oh, look at that. Oh, I don't want to get that up there. They sound like it's right here. They weigh between three and a half to four. These right here are A shape. They need to be clean, but. Do a hole here in the top. Half egg. Now, these are good sinkers. Go them out there, they float down. When current and they get stopped, then when you go pull them up, they come up like this. They float up, they pull up instead of pulling to you through the water, they pull upwards. I got me what two, four, six, eight, two, four, eight, eight, ten, twelve. I have fourteen of them made up. Well, thank you, Sis Rose. Thank you so much. Other than that, that's all I've been doing. I've got a bunch more here in the drawer here, but I run out of swivels. <laughs> I have to go buy me some more swivels. Hey, you like my shirt, Jamie? <laughs> it's South Carolina. Oh, I love it down there, man. I went to Jamie's house, man. We got a nice house, man. Beautiful place down there. And uh, anywhere he took me fishing, man, it was a beautiful place down there. Oh, my gosh. That was a beautiful place to go fishing.
I would never be able to thank them enough for what they've done, man, to take me fishing like that. This Rose says, Brother Big Man. This Rose. Sorry, I'm preoccupied. I'm trying to make something. Oh, man, uh, how do you say it? The honor was all mine, man. It's like a dream come true. I got to go fishing. Jane and Caroline real screamers. Becky didn't show up, but I did get to meet her, and she was on her vibe, and uh, I got to fish from the Carolina. Real screamers boat. Jamie was in there, man. We, Oh, man, I had a blast just catching those bluegill shell crackers, man. That, that, I had a blast doing that. They got beautiful waterways down through there. Got to see some gator eyes on the way out. That was pretty awesome. Dog at me. Like, you go come out there, Daddy. Come out. <laughs> it's gonna tell a few more minutes. Good night, good night, sis Rose. Go to bed, and get you some sleep. What, baby? Yeah, she wants to go outside, so I guess I'm gonna end this. And uh, I want to thank everybody for coming in, hanging out, watching me make some sinkers and stuff the first time. Then uh, lost signal, the phone got hot, and then come back and I came back in again. I appreciate it. Uh, my dog going out, and uh, I got some stuff I got to get done before she gets home. So, that's what put me out. <laughs> you see how he is, Carolina? You come in and he's shutting it down. <laughs> well, I'll still, I'll still stay on here. I just got to take my dog out. <laughs> She's begging me, <it>, too. <laughs> Ashley, Ashley, chestnut. She got her tongue hanging out. <laughs> well, all right, y'all have fun. I got to get this done before Coyote shows up. Third. Third Ashley. Where's he at? Colorado. Good Lord, he's still a long ways away. 14 hours, 13 hours. That's still a long ways away, man. <laughs> it happens. Yeah. It's better than Utah. You got that right. Ford dealership parking lot. <laughs> yeah, you got that right. That's 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 the problem right there. It's Ford dealership. <laughs> Driving a Ford, man. I didn't say it. <laughs> he knows I'm just messing around. He must like a Ford truck. Yeah, he does. I've seen some Ford trucks that look pretty good. I just wished it had a Dodge engine in it. <laughs> Oh, uh, but the truck I like, I really like. I like the looks of the new GMCs. Yeah, the GMCs got a good looking front end on the truck. And I like the tailgate thing. But then oh yeah, Jamie, Jamie just, buys a four too. <laughs> uh, you know, it just to me it seems like that's just more crap to mess up. I tell you what, I I. I I've been eyeballing, man. I've been seeing, you know, there's a few of them coming out. People buying them now. It's them new Broncos. They they look pretty sharp. Yeah, they look pretty good. Yeah. I just wish they didn't have that crappy engine in it. <laughs> and that blue emblem. It don't have that blue emblem on it nowhere, man. It just says Bronco. Well, no, I ain't talking about that. I'm talking about 
<laughs> the engine. I don't know. I ain't heard nothing bad about it yet. Of course, you know, not too many people's bought them yet. And now, don't get me wrong. The original Bronco, I loved it. My dad had one, and that thing was like a tank. But yeah, uh, I had one in '95, brand new, and uh, hey, I bought it off the lot. It was jacked up pretty high and uh, from the factory like that, man. And that thing, it was a gas hog, but that dude had the power. You didn't buy OJ's, did you? Huh? You didn't buy OJ's Bronco, did you? No. Now, this here was a full-size, big, big Bronco that you could remove the top on. I bought a 95 Ford F-150, and then uh, I took it, uh, kept it about three months and traded it in for that 95, brand-new 95 Bronco. All right, Jamie. No more too hard to say cool, brother. Y'all have fun. Yep. Thanks for coming in. Right. I got about 100 feet of uh, cord to put out. Ooh. And then I'm still I'm still trying to find the uh, thing for the top of my uh, septic system so that we can just plug him straight into the septic. So. You're fine. Yeah. Probably about the time he's ready to go home. Worst case scenario, I'd just take the lid off of it and say, here, stick your hose in there. Well, yeah, ain't nothing wrong with that. So. That thing won't happen like a three-inch hose on it anyway. If you got a four-inch opening, just something, drop it down in there. Do like I did um, on the camper and just take and lay a brick over it or something to hold it down. There you go. Well, we have that, that aerobic system, so all it is is a screwdriver to pop the little lid off. Yeah. But I have... I have one made that would, all I got to do is take it off and put that on there, and then it's got a, the hose connection, so you ain't got to smell all that stinky throw, stuff. Throw some towels over it. Throw some straw. <laughs> Anything would be better than what he's been experiencing, I'm telling you that right now. Yeah. So. If it was me, I'd be going out behind their building using the bathroom, number one and number two, show them by going. He probably did. <laughs> Jump in the back of one of them trucks. <laughs> there you go. Well, I think about your Ford. <laughs> I was glad they he's on the road, man, getting out of there. See, I probably forgot Jamie drives a white Ford. He got a nice looking truck. We won't hold it against you, Jamie. <laughs> Hey, I've owned a few Fords in my time. That when the Ford Raptor came out, everybody bought it because it said Raptor. It's supposed to be fast. The guy, the boss, the place I worked at, the owner, his his son-in-law, stepson-in-law, uh, he married this woman. She had this guy, he was older than me. And he bought him one of the new Raptors. He said, I think it's fast, fast. I had a 1964 uh, Pontiac Le Mans GT and a uh, two-door hardtop jacked up the back end, had a souped-up motor in it. I see they got things fast, huh? He goes, oh, yeah, man, that thing's fast. Oh, yeah, that's nice. I said, uh, I said, uh, you want to you wanna put uh, $100 on it, your truck gets my car? It's that piece of junk. Yeah, I got $100 right here, $100 bill. Come on. He said, yeah, we'll do it. We'll race to Crowsville. Well, I let him. We took off, and I was falling behind him. And I told him, I said, I'll just follow you. Go ahead. And he gunned it. We got on the interstate, man. He gunned it. And I let him get about a half mile in front of me, and I started laying into it. And I caught him, and I stayed him. I stayed on to him about a mile from Crowsville and, uh, on the interstate. Boy, and I nailed that son of a gun, and I passed him up. Wow. Walked off and left him. I got there to the, to the city limit. I pulled over to the cemetery there. When you come in, the cemetery. And uh, I pulled over and waited on him. And I said, what's my hundred bucks? <laughs> I had to wait on him for like almost five minutes for him to get there. I then walked off and left him. Work. I said, I thought you said that truck was fast. What do you got in that motor? 
none of your business. You said your truck was fast. Mine was a piece of junk. That's what you call a sleeper, brother. <laughs> Very extremely fast sleeper. That's what I call a farm truck. No, this is what car, man. It's just uh they had the body was mint. Mint. No rust, no dents, no scratches. It was it was red painted, but it was a sixty-four original red. And you didn't want to lean against it because if you did, you got red on your clothes. But man, that thing was man, that thing will run, boy. When I got done with that motor, that thing was fast, boy. There was others out there a lot faster than me, but that thing was fast. Mm. It was probably pushing four and a half, five hundred horses, and it was fast. Yeah, all right. When well, you have fun, I'm gonna go finish trying to get all this stuff because he should be here either late tonight or early tomorrow morning. All right. Go get it done. You know he's going to be there. Yep. Bye bye. Thank you, brother. All right, everybody. I'm going to get off here. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out with me, doing these sinkers and stuff, spending time with me. I enjoyed my time spending with you guys, and gals. But my dogs looking at me like, I got to go. I got to go. I got to go. Come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> so, y'all have a blessed day. Y'all stay cool, drink plenty of water, and uh, y'all just be safe out there and be good to one each other. Tails up. I'll catch y'all later. Thank y'all so much. Have fun, everybody. Bye.